Faculty of Science in SRN International School. Dear learners, today we will be dealing with a very important topic that is work and energy. This important topic is not there in class 9th but also is a part of 10th, 11th and 12th. So when we learn about work and energy, we come to know about the different processes which are there, different energy processes. It can be in the form of chemical energy, it can be in the form of mechanical energy, it can be in the form of heat energy. Now, different scientists have different attributes regarding the work being done. If I talk in terms of biology, then when energy is being spended in doing any work, then we said to say that the work is being done. But in terms of work, in terms of physics, if a person is not moving at all, then he is not supposed to do any work. So there has to be some motion in terms of physics then only the work is said to be done. Now, how can we differentiate between the two? That what is work and energy? Work is said to be done scientifically when a force is applied on a body, produces motion in its direction of the force. So we can say that the work done is equal to force into displacement. Dear children, the SI unit of work is Joule. Here SI refers to the standard international unit. Here you can see that a person is pulling a box and he is pulling the box in his own direction. So the work is said to be done when the particular object is moving in the direction of the applied force. So here it is visible that the box is being moving in the direction of the person where he is pulling the box. Now let us see some examples of work. If we push a pebble lying on a surface, the pebble moved through a distance. We exerted a force on the pebble and the pebble got displaced. So in this situation, the work is being done. But suppose if a person is pushing a wall, here the wall is not moving. And because the wall is not moving, we cannot say that any kind of work is being done. Similarly, if a person is lifting a box on his forehead and if he is standing still, then also work is not said to be done because the box ball or the box is not moving over here. In another case, a girl pushes a trolley and the trolley moves through a distance. The girl exerted a force on the trolley and it is displaced. So the work is done. So we conclude from here that whenever any kind of object is moved in the direction of the applied force, then only the work is said to be done. Now let us understand about energy. Energy is basically the capacity of a body to do work, that is its ability to do work. So the amount of energy possessed by a body is equal to the amount of work it can do when energy is released. In the given picture you can see that the work is being done by a person and in doing so he is definitely consuming its energy. I will again repeat dear children that work has different different aspects. In term of bio, if I am pushing a wall then also I am doing a work because here I am spending my energy. But in terms of physics, until and unless the object is not moving, work is not said to be done. So this need to be clearly differentiated between the two. Now let us understand about the different forms of energy. The different forms of energy are mechanical energy, it can be potential energy, kinetic energy, then heat energy, it is a form of thermal energy then chemical energy, electrical energy and light energy. The light energy is also said to be photo energy. So we will be actually studying all the forms of energy with the help of appropriate examples in the coming slides. Now let us study about what is mechanical energy. Mechanical energy is the energy which is possessed by an object due to its motion or position. So it is mainly of two types, potential energy and kinetic energy. You can see over here in the picture that a archer is actually having a arrow in his hand and he is moving the string of the bow and because of which the stored energy over here is the potential energy. Because of the stretched energy of the string, the arrow is moving in the forward direction. So here in the arrow, potential energy was stored and because of which in the forward direction. Now let us see what are the different forms of heat energy? Heat energy is the result of movement of tiny particles 
called atoms, molecules or ions in solids, liquids and gases. So heat energy can be transferred from one object to another. We can have an experiment for experiencing this thing that whether the heat energy travel from one direction to another direction. For this, we can take an iron rod and we can attach some all pins with the help of wax. Now if we heat one end of the iron rod, we will uh, see that slowly and gradually all the all pins fall down. Now why are the all pins falling down? They are falling down because heat is being transferred from one end of the rod to the another end. So it is clearly visible over here with the help of an experiment that the heat energy is being transferred from one end to another end. Now let us see what is the chemical energy. The chemical energy refers to the potential of chemical substances for undergoing chemical reaction and get transformed into another new substances. Various processes are called as chemical processes in which a new substance is being formed and the released energy over here is called as chemical energy. Let us now understand what is electrical energy. The electrical energy is derived as a result of movement of electrically charged particles. Thus all the electrical energy is potential energy before it is delivered to the end. Electrical energy basically children is the movement of the electron. When I want to say electricity is flowing from one end to another end, actually I mean to say that the electrons are moving from one end to another end. When the electrons are moving from one end to another end, it is actually the energy which is traveling from one of the end to another end. So electrical energy is having a tremendous amount of energy. We can test the energy of a small cell if we attach a wire to a small cell or a battery and touch it with the help of our tongue, we can feel the vibration of the electrons is there. But never try it with the help of electrical circuits at home because it can be very much injurious to your health. So now let's discuss about another form of energy and that is light energy. What is light energy? Light energy is a kind of kinetic energy with the ability to make type of light visible to the human eyes. You very well know that there are different colors of objects. Now how these objects are visible to us? A particular wavelength of light is being absorbed by the object and a particular wavelength of light is being reflected by the object. The wavelength of light that is being reflected by the object or the color of the light which is being reflected by the object is being visible to our eyes. For example, if I say that the object is of red color, actually I mean to say that the object is reflecting the red color of light. Now let us understand another thing and that is so I hope as onions you would have looked at the slide of work energy and I hope the slide would be very helpful for you. Now the different forms of energy have been discussed in the slide and I'll be coming with more important slides on different topics in physics and chemistry. So till then keep enjoying, stay blessed and be at home. God bless you all.